Listen, um, Debbie alluded to us doing a video about what we've been going through as a couple and as a family in the past six or seven months. Uh, every family, every individual experiences loss. Uh, what we know here is that as positive as we try to be uh, in, in, our, in our videos, in our lives, uh, we lose people. I think a lot of people uh, during the past few years have seen a lot of loss. And loss can be tough. Loss can be really hard. Um, so uh, this video that we're going to do is um, we're going to go through and um, if not memorialize, but at least mention some of the people that we've lost uh, in our lives over the past six months. Hi there. One of the closest people that I lost in the last six months was my dear brother-in-law. He, he actually is a brother in love. Um, my brother-in-law, Paul Williams. God could not have given my sister a better companion, lover, friend, helpmate. He was a leader of his home. Paul Williams was so intelligent. He was a, a, a chemist. And um, she met him, of course, at church. That's where everybody wants to meet their perfect mate, at church. And um, they grew into good friends. And he grew into our family. I mean, he bonded into our family so well. And she retired on a Thursday. And Sunday evening of that week, he died. They were getting ready to retire into a great retirement season. Um, they had their house was done, paid for, and their they everything was ready for for that moment. What I learned from that is don't wait, don't wait, and think that you have the time to do everything that you think you. Yeah want to do at retirement or you know when I lose the weight when I do this and when I do that don't wait because nothing is guaranteed to us dear Lord nothing my brother-in-law was the the a godly man a leader in his home a leader on his job he worked for this company for for uh, 30 years and was, uh, I mean, just loved by so many people. I, I, that was a, the hardest one to get over because I just could not understand. I questioned God, and sometimes I still do question why. But all things, I have, to, I have to remember, all things happen for a reason, and we have to, as Christians, learn to trust God. He died the last week of June and we um, we buried him in the, the first week of July. And we I think we still are kind of in a shock with that one. Grief and loss is very hard. I miss you, my dear brother, Paul. I know you are resting in, in heaven right now, but we miss you so much. Well, good evening, or good morning, or good, whenever, you're, whenever you're watching. Uh, thank you ever so much. We appreciate that you're here. I'm a real talking Devin Will. Uh, this is... Uh, take two. This is take two. <laughs> because We did this already. For the for the first, I think for the first time, I I don't know. Didn't press the, the button or something. I'm not sure what happened. 
or press the wrong button. Hap happens to everybody every now and again. Uh, we hope that um, you are well where you are. We'd like to thank you for those of you who have been watching the haul videos and commenting and subscribing. <laughs> and sharing. And sharing. We've had the biggest month um, of subscribers, uh, percentage-wise, than any other time uh, uh, in the channel's history, and we appreciate that. We really do. It's fun to watch. Uh, we're just about that far from reaching 200, and uh, if we could reach that milestone, that would be fantastic. We just love seeing the milestone. We love, so I'm seeing it turn over to the next thing, to the next thing. And we want to thank everybody for all the work that you've done. And I hope that we've been able to help. Hope that you've enjoyed it. And um, thank you for uh, your continued support as we move forward to the next milestone and the next one. This video, uh, Debbie, Debbie alluded to in one of our past videos, I'm not sure which one, here in the, in the, in the, next, in the last little bit, that we were going to do something on loss. You know, during the yes. next, during the last, you know, this 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 COVID time, uh, people people have experienced a, a great deal. And this is of not loss. no longer COVID, I don't think. Well, no, I, I mean, but but during the past, you know, since the pandemic started, uh, yeah. people, people have, have had a lot of people have had a lives. lot of loss, uh, and not that. And I'm going to tell you, and, and the onset, not that any of our loss um, we can attribute to COVID. Nope. No. Um, so that's not what this is about. Uh, but it's, it's just been a time that maybe we've just all been more sensitive to it mm -hmm. uh, because of the amount of loss that, um, that people have experienced. And we wanted to talk about how to deal with it, how to deal with it as an individual, and how, and how in turn to deal with it as, as a, a couple. Because it, it, it does have an effect. It has an effect on your relationships, um, dealing with so much of it. Because we've had, like, in six months... Eight eight people to pass that were, you know, either friends or family um, to us. And, um, and and it's been hard. It's been difficult. It is tough, you know, and um, because we, we, we always, you know, these things happen and you try to, you know, not deal with it. Um, dudes, we, we tend to swallow everything. Uh, but it, but it has, but it has been dark. It has been hard uh, because a lot, a, a lot of them, as you'll see, um, we didn't expect it. Some, some weren't a big surprise. But even when it isn't a big surprise, even when you expected it, it's so hard. It doesn't it's make hard. it any easier. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know, it sucked when um, you mentioned that Betty White passed away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why? Because she was damn near a hundred. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. And Raquel Wells Raquel recently was, just, just recently away. at 82. Yeah, so that happens. George Burns died at 99 or 100. Yeah, yeah. And so you, you expect it, but still, if you're close to that person, it still has a, sting, ha has a sting to it. So mm -hmm. uh, we, wanted, we wanted to, you know, to come on for a little bit and, and, and let you guys know that there's a way to deal with it. And the way that we've done with, deal with it is partly doing this that we're doing with you today, um, it's cathartic because talking that way you're talking it. about it a little bit. Um, that's and that's important. And some of the things that you've seen before and after and through this um, this video right here, this this segment right here, are ways that we're dealing about it, dealing with it. Talking about it is super important. Yes, don't like he said. Don't take it in and just swallow it. And keep it in because eventually it comes out in some other kind of way. And usually a negative way. Yes. And somebody in the family or somebody you work with ends up suffering because you, you <laughs> didn't deal with some issues that you have. So um, I find that the talk, we, we have been able to talk about the issues and stuff because like he was saying earlier that most men don't like to talk about their final things and different things like that. And um, it was brought more to focus with us when uh, the close family member, um, my, my brother in love passed away, my, my sister's spouse. And, um, you know, dealing with the life insurance and, you know, whether you have beneficiaries on your accounts and different things like that. Uh, it brings that to focus and make you think about it and have to talk about it and deal with it. Um, 
and and we've been doing that recently, you know, talking about, you know, different things that's going on and stuff. And it's best to have that stuff set in place and ready so that your loved ones don't have to deal with so much trauma at one time. Because although GoFundMes are awesome and that it's great that they are around to help people, but you don't want your loved one to be stuck trying to figure out how to do a GoFundMe and this and the other and all trying to, to, to bury you. Or, or or pay for a funeral and different things like that. So, or pay for you know you know bills because you know the the the, the electric company won't um, take back that last bill because oh the yeah, other person died. Mm -hmm. You know the mortgage company won't do that. Uh, it is the kindest thing that you can do to make sure that uh, as much as you can because you can't get everything is taken care of. Um, before it become before it becomes a nightmare for somebody else, because you catch them at their worst possible time. You, I mean, where, where they're experiencing this horrific loss, and now they've got to deal with not just that; they've got to deal with all the all the ticky tack rest of the world nonsense um, that can be super frustrating. So you know, it, it is important that 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 you have that conversation. What do you, you know? So when you die, what do you want? Um, and I know, and, and, and like Deb was saying, guys don't want to talk about that stuff. <laughs> ah, just bury me out in the backyard under a stump. That'll be fine. I know, I know. But that is not what's going to happen, and you know it. So you have to think think about it first. Now you have to understand that guys got to think about that stuff first because we don't, we don't want to. So, so it takes, takes a little bit to get there. But go ahead, guys, get there. Get there and and, and, and let, you know, figure out in, in, in your head what's going to be the best and the easiest for the people that you leave behind. It, it is truly the kindest thing you can do. And when these things happen, and they've happened for us in such quick succession. One after another. Um, that, yeah. Hello again. Hope you can see me. It's a beautiful day, Florida day out here. I wanted to talk to you about a loss that I had this year. This loss was a, a dear prophetess that used to visit our church on the regular. Miss Bobby Jean Merks. Miss Bobby Jean was a strong prayer warrior, and she taught me so much about intercessory prayer, which is one of my gifts. I'm an intercessory prayer. She has her book that I read, Ask of Me, and taught me how to pray for other people, to have to love unconditionally while you're praying. Unconditionally pray and, and love people. We lost her in July, in um, January of this year, the very, very beginning of January. And thank God we saw her in November of last year. She came to the church, ministered to us, prophesied over all of us. Every person in the church she prophesied over and prayed for us. She was a regular prayer warrior for us, for our church. And... Um, she w went home to live with Jesus on January the 6th. And we will miss her so much and miss her prayers that she covered us with. But the good thing is she installed us with knowing how to pray for people. And how to pray for our nation and how to pray for for everybody. And... um. I read her book on the regular to keep up on things and I learned a lot from her and she was like a mother figure to us so we will miss you Miss Bobby thanks for your prayers and your ministering and rest in peace rest with Jesus right now you have done your job praise God 
that you know that that, that that all this comes to mind. Again, back to the back to the back to the same thing though. Be sure to talk about it. Be sure not just to let it happen and don't talk about it. Uh, we have, as you can see in this video, we've decided that we're going to talk about um, the people that we've um, that we've lost in the past, you know, six or seven months. Um, talk about them. Talk about them. With, talk about them with your spouse. Talk about them with other people. Uh, my friend Shirley Huzar, who who, who just passed away uh, from cancer, he was uh, talk about a force that was impossible to contain. Even before we actually met in, in you know in person, uh, Shirley was a force that was absolutely impossible to contain. Uh, if she thought in her heart and mind you should do something, you were going to end up doing it. That's all there was to it. You were going to end up doing it. We just sw sort of swallow it. We swallow that dry, hard, bitter pill, and we and we don't cry and we don't talk about it and we almost pretend that it didn't happen. Uh, but that's it. not really the best thing for us. And I'm not saying. That we ought, you ought to get in touch with your feminine side. I'm not saying that. I married my feminine side. <laughs> so that's why I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about it is a smart thing to do to be able to relay the things that you're thinking about uh, and how you're feeling uh, to your spouse um, t to let them know. And and sort of it's sort of like a, like a, like a, like a tea kettle. All the pressure you can release some of that pressure. Yes. Let some of it out. If you can't talk to your, you don't have a spouse, good friends, talk to your friends, your pastor, anybody who you can sit down and, and, and someone you trust, someone you trust that you can relate that with your counselor. You know, some people, some, some people are getting counseling and, and help, um, therapy and, and that will help. So talk to some. Talk to somebody. If you feel, especially if you feel a certain way about it, talk to somebody. Because we all have questions. Uh, people in our list, as, as, as you'll see throughout the video, uh, some of them were older, no doubt. Some of them were were older. Some of them have been sick for a while. Our friend, my friend Dewan. Yeah. Um. One of the people that um that we lost early was. Um, mid, I guess, mid last year, was a gentleman by the name of Dewan Washington. Dewan Washington, young man who had been ill, unfortunately, for a long time, more than a year, and um, spent about a year in the hospital. Uh, and and I met him because you know through um, some of my political leanings, my, my political stuff, and. Uh, Super full of life and energy, um, funny as heck, uh, as as truthful as a human being could be, and uh, as honest and forthright as anybody you've ever met. Wise beyond his years, and only a couple of years older than our son. Um, Duan passed away, and it was a hit because. We always thought that Dewan would come out of it, you know? He would fight it off. I miss him. I miss his energy and I miss his spirit. Our, our friend Janetta, Janetta. Janetta had been sick for a while. Miss Janetta, my, my buddy and friend and mentor. Uh, she passed away a couple of weeks ago. We went to her service last weekend. And as we said in the video, she had been ill, but I didn't exp I didn't think she was going to, you know, pass uh, from this illness because she was doing so well and recovering well. She she was um, in a wheelchair at this point, but she would get on the bus <laughs> when nobody was home. She would get herself ready and get on the bus and go places. She went to the MLK parade. She did all kinds of things on her own. So she was in good spirits, but I think her body was just tired because she was also uh, taking dialysis as well. But um, 
I met her when I first became a manager in the uh, community that I work in, and she helped helped me to get involved in different organizations and groups and stuff in the community. And like I said in the video, she was the type of person that would put a fire under you. She would tell you, you need to do this and you need to do that and let, let's get involved in this. And we worked with uh, youth and we mentored youth and did all kinds of things. And, and we kept our organization open because we were in hopes that she was going to come back and help us to get it all together and we would write grants and do things and just 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 a very powerful person in helping people she never had children of her own but she always helped somebody's child get graduate from college or do whatever they needed she was just an awesome lady and I'm going to miss her. That's what I miss the most from her. Well, miss the most is the the fire that she put under me to to never Marty. give up. My never friend stop. Terry. Terry was uh I believe she was a but she's along my age and I met her through Janetta. <laughs> And Terry was also in the community and on uh, the board with me for an organization we worked with youth. And she was the uh, mentor for the, she was the direct contact for the youth when we worked with them in our program. And um, she was <laughs> a unique person. She didn't take no she didn't take nothing. When she wanted to do something, she was going to get everybody involved in doing that or or you were not going to be participating. If you weren't going to participate, you're not going to sit here. We need to be doing this. We need to be doing that and blah, 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 blah. She was a firehouse as well. But she was vocal with it more so than our friend Janetta. She would voice her opinion and didn't care. I mean, if it hurt your feelings, oh well. She was going to say what was on her mind. And I admire people that can do that because they, you you always know where you stand with people like this, people like Terry. You know what to expect. And when they say something, they are telling you the truth. So she was she was a, a good friend and um, her daughter was in the program that we did. So I got to know her daughter, Jasmine, as well. And um, it's painful because she moved away in the last few years and we didn't get to see her much um, before she passed away. And she was ill as, as well. Um, she had cancer, so... And I didn't know that she was ill until right up to the time when she almost passed, when she passed. So that was the hard part about that is that we didn't stay close. So I'll miss Terry. Bar, going to the, the store, the things that we talked about that I'm going to always remember because those were the lessons that he was teaching. And those are the things that are going to be beneficial to me. And if they're beneficial to me, they're going to be beneficial to Deb and our son and our family and my community and everything. So um, it's that kind of thing that you have to talk. That's why you have to talk about it. That is why you have to talk about it. Even at the beginning when it's going to be painful. Very hard. It's going to be tough. Because people are, I mean, when you bring these memories up, they're going to do one or two things. They're going to make you laugh or they're going to make you cry. They are going to have an effect. Um, but it's better that you do it than if you don't do it. Trust me. All right. Enjoy all of the video. All of it. There's a lot. And um, in any case, if that, that which means we got to get out of here. Make work for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something. Love somebody. And for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. And remember this. And never forget, we love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. We love you. Peace. Hey, I want to talk to you about my friend, Gene Hackley. Uh, Gene Hackley was a teacher.
at Music Showcase, where I've been teaching for, oh my goodness, more than 20 years, almost 25 years. Uh, this past little bit, she's one of the people in my life um, that um, crossed the boundary between professional acquaintance and friend. And um, it was great having Jean as someone who was uh, older, uh, older than me, actually, that can identify with what I was going through as a, you know, as a person of a certain age and as an instructor, a music instructor who have been doing it for a while, um, that we could have similar perspectives and we could, you know, bounce ideas back and forth still. And to know that she still had this incredible love for teaching and seeing her students do well was incredibly encouraging to me.